So geeks, we left off last episode. Not sure whether I had completed a end of a story or not. So we are back here in the office in office 427, our regular old one. I think this is a I think we have begun again. But we'll find out. I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How no. amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? Right. Okay, maybe, maybe you know what? Maybe we have to go up to the dang boss's office. That's the new plan. We'll go to the boss's stupid old office. Assuming we have the same options. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh. Hey, why don't we go on the right and then double back? Let's see if that does anything. Yes, I'm a fool. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly Who cares? Well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Okay, here we are. Back in the employee wow. lounge. Yes. Yes, lovely. Room. What a beautiful... But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first Very open eager. door on his left. What do you think is through here, guys? This is what I wanted to check out. Because we know... You know what? Screw it! I'm not taking it again! This time I'll maybe stay on the Stanley elevator was thing? was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look at the penalty for jumping off. Good thing no one's around. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. How about I stay I'm on it? Enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. It's true! There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Oh, Please, what? Can we get to the... Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. What's on the floor of this I'm thing? I'm asking for her. Who? For her? Now I'm tempted not to jump off. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. A woman! She's been waiting. This is a trap, I know it. The wily old narrator. Oh, let me guess, she's through this dark, mysterious door through which I can see nothing. You want me to go in there? Seems like I have no other choice. Bastard. Goodbye, cruel, cruel world. Yeah, it's right. Oh, oh. oh! That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. Who? If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Alright, I'll do it! Back in 427? Oh, Stanley, is that you? What? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pouring the bread out of the oven. What a oh, freaky sweet. game. Okay, there we go. Open it. All right, now. I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's things. really going on here. Where's my wife? I don't care. I'll make love to this a mannequin. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Shut up. I'm alive. The death of a man named Stanley. Interact with me, woman. I'm stuck. I don't know what to do here, guys. What the hell is supposed to be going on here? Good morning, employee 427. Press V. Oh, I get it. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. I'm he back to my job. job. demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Shut up. What? What? What the hell's going on here? Let me out of this tiny, stupid apartment. Well, we don't even have a bathroom in this dump. Come on. I must escape. I'm pressing V on my keyboard. Maybe that'll help. Get me out of here. 
there another man in there? What? What? I don't, guys, I'm lost. I don't know what the F is supposed to be happening. What hell hath, what is going on? Guys, we're freaking trapped in this sh Achievement unlocked, you can't jump. Get out of my face. I'm just pressing every button on the keyboard. Okay. I can't, their only option is to begin again. Guys, I, I don't, I don't understand. Is this the end of a story? Oh, I pressed escape. Press five. Go screw yourself. Fine, I'll press it. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly oh. what he's told to do. Get me out of here. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Gimme! I want out. Every time I press escape, it asks me to press another button. But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed yes. of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Okay, so let me go. Press K, fine, I'll watch him. to fantasize about his own job. Oh, I don't First, even have a TV anymore. That one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. There the was a TV there. Excited him terribly. Excited him terribly. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Where are the boys? Let's so hang out. He went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At now it's all in my head. Choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Oh god, this game is messing with me so hard. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round oh. room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Yes, I did. Am I you? I don't have any children. It was oh, I'm such a wonderful all of fantasy, this. and so in his head he relived it again and then again and again. By telling it to his made-up children, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Honey? But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, <laughs> all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, get the stupid and chair out of my way. I'm this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. I'll listen now. Here, Get me out of here. Watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do <laughs> it. Oh, you want me to listen to you, eh? You see? Can he just not hear me? How I'm back. In a way that he'll understand that every my second door. he remains here, he's electing to kill himself. How can I get him to see what I see? Get me out of How here! How can I make him look at himself? Get me the hell out of here! I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The same as... Get me out of here! We're not so different, I suppose. 
I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. <clears throat> and I tried again, and Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again, and Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Am I dead? What a freaky weird game. I died! The game is getting weirder and weirder. I think I might just listen to what he says in the next episode because I am I was so confused that time and now we've died again. It was so eerie with the phone ringing and the mannequin wife. This I don't even know if it's even a game. My mind is blown. Thank you for watching, geeks. I'm Unite the Clans, and I will see you all in the next episode of The Stanley Parable.